breathe in. Vamos a inhalar. Bring that energy up through the body. Trayendo esa energía a través del cuerpo. Up to the top of the head. Hasta el tope de la cabeza. On, On the presence. La presencia. And then we're going to go down to our hearts. Y después vamos a bajar hasta nuestro corazón. On, On the witness. On, on the witness. El then we'll go down, 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 down again. Vamos abajo, abajo, abajo de nuevo. Down to our feet. Abajo hasta pies. And then breathing in. Bring that energy up through the body. Esa hacia por el on, on the presence. La then back into our hearts. Y de vuelta a los corazones. On, on the witness. El testigo. Love Amor creates me, me crea in my perfection. En mi perfection. And slowly open the eyes. Y despacito abrimos los ojos. Es, es un miedo que tengo. Which is a fear that I still have of non being able. Create money working on what I like. <coughs> I'm a retired person. My retirement is minimum. And I want to work since long, long ago in something I like. I'm a, I, I, need. I need. I do additional knitting. And many things I do, but I cannot sell them. And I want to live out working as a need, um, knitting, which is what I love. I like another ones too, but this is the fundamental one. You know, the thing is, from a place of consciousness, you have to start trusting and open your mind. And maybe you have to do a few things, no? But do everything from joy and a place of giving and you'll be abundant. All you need is the intention. Yeah. Just trust and start creating what you want. What a great moment in your life. You're free to do whatever you want. Yeah? Good. How can I handle my frustration? It's three partners I have in my life, and really, I started thinking that partner's life is not for me. But you've had three. <laughs> That's great. And you're still young. You can have five more. Sometimes I think I'm too complicated. Or they tell me, you're very complicated because nothing, you're happy with nothing. My son tells me, Mom, ah, you don't choose a good one. Your partner it doesn't last. So I say, it's me. Or it's really I choose badly. Or I have expectations that are too high. And at the end arrives the moment that everything I think that doesn't fulfill me or just I feel I'm the mom of my partner. I'm having bad time. I really get complicated and frustrated. I get bitter. I say better to be alone. But I always conceive life as a couple and I always have the expectation of not getting old by myself. So I get frustrated thinking that I have to keep on looking for a, a partner, and it gets complicated. I say, why are you so lonely? You're always so lonely. So what's going on? What's wrong? Firstly, you're a woman, so you're complicated. Ask any man, and this is sure. Second, you probably have a bad eye. We all do. It doesn't matter. But you've got to let go of this idea that everything has to be forever. 
tiene que ser por siempre. Things are as they are. Que las cosas son como son. You might have 10 partners. But the most important partner is you. It's not about the longevity. It's not the longevity of the relationship. What's important is the love of your life, which is you, is complete with you. Okay, because you're looking for someone tú estás a to complete you. Que te And you should be complete. Y tú que estar And then you can have a relationship. Y vas a poder tener una Not have a relationship. No tener una It doesn't matter no because you're happy with you. Estás feliz con But you've bought the fairy tale. Pero tú te el de you know, it's forever. Por forever. Por <laughs> How many people are forever? Some. Some. And a lot of them are like this too. <laughs> there's some that are very happy. But there's not a law that says it has to be forever. So let go of that idea and be happy with you. Yeah. Question about my family. Yesterday I told you that I have a brother. I feel he is very sad. And he told me. I tried for him to open, but no, he doesn't want and he chooses. Not to open that sadness he has. In some moments he recognizes it's very, very deep. And I talk with my parents about that, telling this. And in some moments he's even concerning, preoccupied. He cannot enjoy his life. It's so how do you think he sees you? How do you see you? And that I choose to heal myself. And be heal yourself. You're happy? <laughs> you feel good within you? That's all you can do. Just be you. He'll be ready when he's ready. But don't be on top of him. Go out and have fun with him. Be vulnerable with him. Be the best of you with him. But stop trying to save him. In one moment, he'll do a click. But if you're on top of him, are you okay? I see you sad. Maybe you should feel. Maybe you should do the Isha system. Are you okay? Don't do that. Go out and get drunk with him. Do something interesting. And then he'll open. You know what I'm saying? Stop worrying. Because he knows that you changed. He can feel it. He can see it. He hasn't taken the step yet. But he will. But not if you're on top of him. Oh, are you sure you're okay? <laughs> yeah, I see you're depressed. I used to be depressed. Then I did the issue system for six months. And now look at me. I'm happy. I even cut my hair. And I've got a new Colombian girlfriend. Yeah. Whisper, you need to come here and do the system. Here, read this book. Watch this movie. Come on, come on, come on. You know you're adopted. You've got deep issues. You've got to feel them. And he's like this. <laughs> Is it a bit like that? I felt identified with her and her decide of working on what I want to do lots of things, and yes, I plan and I have ideas. I have a lot of ideas, but I feel that something internal 
stops me, pulls me down. Uh, it just uh, aborts my, my bush. There's something with myself, I think, is low self -esteem. You know what it is? You're afraid to fail. You're afraid to make a mistake. So instead of moving into action, without an objective, just to have fun, to do something well, to give it 100%, with a goal, but see what happens. But because of your fear, you paralyze and you don't move into action. Just do it. It doesn't matter what happens. Maybe it's this huge business. Maybe it's a disaster. But at least you've done something. Because if you procrastinate, you'll never trust in yourself. Anchoring consciousness, move into action. That's it. You can't make a mistake. Because once you break that limitation, oh, no puede. Oh, there won't be enough money. What if I fail? You've already failed. Because you're just here doing nothing. You understand? And this is great with the system. Because you start to have security. And you start to trust in yourself. And then you can start to move. But sometimes you need to push. You need to push. Okay, so when you go into ishajad.com, you get this darshan, and you play it and 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 play it. And you don't turn it off until you move into action. Okay? Good. You know, people have to realize, and this is a very important aspect of life, everything can't be goal-focused. Okay, you do things for experiences, to be the best of you. It's not about the goal. It's about the journey, what you learn, how you evolve. I remember when we wrote um, the Diamond Book. It was the first time I did a novel, no? And I just, the story came out of me like this. I had the whole story. Because I'm like that when I create. But I didn't have any idea how to structure it. How to put it together. None. And the person I was doing it with, un poco más, but no mucho, no? And the first book was a disaster. So then we got help. And then we got more help. And then we got more help. Until finally, we had a great project. Now it's going to be a movie, now it's going to be many things. But it was just an idea. I was not an expert. But that's what I wanted. So you have to move into action. And you have to trust that you always create what you need. And through that process, now I could write a uh, fiction book. I could, because I know how. You can't just do things because you know how. That's how you learn. Moving into action. Or else no one would ever do anything. I'm, when I'm married, all this is not too long. But around me, I see 
The marriages today don't work. And everybody divorces. So I have a lot of insecurity with that in my marriage. My question is why marriages nowadays don't work and how to be able to strengthen the marriage? Okay. Firstly, we have to define what working means. Because for me, a marriage is about two independent people growing together, being complete within themselves and supporting each other to be the best of who they are. This could last 10 years, 10 months, or 50 years, but it's not, there's no time frame. Way back, everyone stayed together because if not, you know, they went to hell, you know, because that's where they were sent. And it was against the church. It was against everything. It was even illegal to get a divorce. Okay, well, this doesn't exist now. Okay, things have changed. And humans are changing. But you don't have to focus on other people. You know, you say, oh, all the marriages are failing. I know lots of people with fabulous marriages. Two of my teachers have been married for 20 years. Yeah, to different people, no? <laughs> no, 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 but one, two couples. Dos parejas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so let go of this idea. The most important thing is that you grow and you want to grow. And if you want the relationship, you have to take responsibility. And lots of people have very long-term relationships. And it works for them. Some people stay together for all the wrong reasons. But it's in your hands. As long as you keep evolving, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. And as a consequence, the relationship will evolve. But stop being attached of, how, of the form. Success isn't determined by longevity. It's defined for what I gave, how I grew, and what I receive. That's it. But if you're in a relationship, don't start worrying about it breaking up. Why would you put that energy there? That fear. Why? Why do we le get lost in the other people, wanting to save them? I had to break that pattern. You know, if you're obsessed with trying to change someone, there's something you want. There's an attachment, there's a need. It's something that you want. And you have to look at you and see, how does this person affect me? Do I feel unsafe? Do I think something's going to happen? Do I feel I'm going to be abandoned? You know, because obviously it's coming from a place of fear. Because if you love yourself unconditionally, you see the perfection in everyone's evolution. So why? 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 Why do you need that person to change? Tell me that. You've got the microphone. Tell me the answer to my question. 
It happens that I want to save that person when I feel that it's not... Who is the person? Happens with babies as a facilitator. Oh, so that defines you as a good facilitator. If you save the babies. You're going to see this. You give 100% and you let go. That's all you can do. But if you're on top of people, it's harder for them to change. They have to have the capacity to see for themselves. Because you can tell someone something, tell, 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 and they can't see anything. So when you move back, and you allow them the possibility to reflect, they get their own experience. You can only give so much and then you have to let go. It's like catching a fish, a big fish. If you don't give it a bit more line, it breaks. Okay, you've got to play. Same with a horse. You hold and then you let go, then you hold and then you let go. You don't just keep going fighting, 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 fighting. You have to keep letting go. You have to have the art to know when to let go. Yeah? And you have to see what's in it for you. Like somewhere it's touching on your ego. Obvio. Yes? Good. <sighs> <laughs> how to control eating anxiety. Okay. So how do you stop the anxiety to eat? When we're children, every time something goes wrong, or every time we cry, someone sticks something in our mouth all the time. You know, from the beginning. And food is a big manipulation. If you're a good boy, you get an ice cream. Stop crying and I'll give you a candy. You know, always putting something in our mouths. So when you have anxiety, you have to stop and you have to go in. This is why smoking was so successful. They, everyone was smoking before, before we found out it wasn't good. But everyone was like, <laughs> because it, you want to put something in your mouth. And you need to stop and connect. What's happening? Oh, I feel sad. Oh, I feel angry. And you'll start to see, it's very seldom you eat when you're hungry. You just eat. You probably don't even know what it is to be hungry. It's just this compulsion. Every time something affects, or we see something, we want to stick something in our mouths. And you have to stop and connect. Why do I want to eat? Why do I want to smoke? Why do I want to drink? Why do I want to look at porno? Why? Go in. Why am I distracting myself? Yeah? I know you don't look at porno, it's okay. <laughs> but you eat. Yeah, and just see that. Why am I looking externally? Because I'm having a feeling. And connect. These days I was able to incorporate the system and even I did 
I was able to move ex emotions. I beat up the, the pillow. I cried. My question is, this created a change in me. I'm not the same guy that arrived here the first. And this is the guy that is going to go back next Monday to work. What do you do? Supervisor security in a bank in Chile. <laughs> and, uh, and the control and check of all the branches in security matters. Lots of people works with me. I'm going to get to work. And my my employee will say, hey, what, what's going on with him? So I want to know how can I explain But people will see you better, happier. They won't see anything weird. You don't have to worry about it. You can just share your experience. Just so you know, I went and I unify. Firstly, if you're from Chile, you can say you went to Icha. Because everyone knows who Icha is. And just say you feel good. Nice. And then we come and teach all of your work companions. I study in the facets, repeating every day, I feel much better. I love the word in its perfection and I want to know your meaning of it. My experience of perfection is everything within the illusion of duality. But for you and for everyone else that starts, you have to focus on the perfection of the unconditional love inside of you. You know, in my experience, it's moved out and it embraces everything. But in the beginning, you have to focus on that. The perfection of the human experience, which is your divinity, the peace of the moment, which is the perfection of unconditional love, your perfection, which is inside of you, and ultimately in unity. So you focus on the unconditional love and that's the perfection of each moment. The perfection that that love is there. Hmm? If you have to take a business decision, creating a strategy that from where did you create it? From here, from here, or you combine it? And if you combine it, how do you combine it? <laughs> combine it, if you mix it. Okay, so you have a lifetime of experience, no? So you know what works, what doesn't work. Hasta un punto, no? It's not just you, oh, I want to be a superstar actress. <gasps> and I'm going to be. Obviously, there's a little bit of things that have to transpire first, no? So you have a lot of information. But then at some moment, you have to trust. So if you're anchored here, you're very present. If you're very present, you're not closed in an idea. Because sometimes we're going here, and we're so convinced it's here, and the universe is saying, woohoo, this is quicker. Oh, this is, a, this is another thing. But we're like, no, 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 it has to be like that, like that, like that, like that. When we're anchored in consciousness, we focus, but we're open. And we know that if we're hitting against something, we need to anchor and it will open. Okay, so there's a different approach. And another thing we do is we have the capacity to invent something new. 
Not just keep repeating the same old rubbish. Because this worked for this or this worked for that. Because it's always the new idea, the new innovation, the new approach that creates evolution and change and the focus of giving. What am I giving? This is sustainable development. Not just what am I getting. That's the old business plan. There has to be a holistic approach that is sustainable, that is giving, that is generating. There has to be a new approach. This is the face of new business that are going to move forward in the world. Because everything antique is starting to fall. If you don't look after your people, if you're not giving to the society, to humanity, to the environment, everything's changing. And everything else will become a dinosaur. And if you're here, you're acting through integrity. And that's so important. And I want to ask, I have two children, a girl of 13, a boy 18, and he repeated twice. He doesn't like to study zero motivation, or is what I think. And I feel that I fail there is something. What can I do with this, I feel? Okay, so firstly you didn't fail. And at some moment, you know, with children we give the greatest input we can. Our ideas, our belief systems, what I did. And then at some moment, I have to do this. I have to let go and allow them to have their own experience. Lots of children get to that point that they don't know what they want to do. So the best thing that they do is what they want to do. Because that allows them the freedom to discover themselves. And sure, it's scary for you because you want him to finish school, go to college, university, get a job, get a degree. And in your head, that's success. And you've accomplished what you had to accomplish. But it's not like that. Now you have to maybe give some space. But you've got to move this thing where you feel like you failed. Because just because he doesn't want to do what you want, it doesn't mean you failed. And you need to let that go. You know, my mother was an exceptional teacher, no? like everyone in her classes passed and the, the highest level, no? very academic, very brilliant woman, all my family was academic, academic, academic. At 15, I told my parents I was leaving school. This is an academic family. And my parents were like, I said, I'm leaving. My mother said, you finish finishing? Okay, and I did. I did it young, I don't know. I was, I was advanced. Maybe it was my age group, no? And they let me go. And she said to me, I've seen so many children pushed by their parents to do things they don't want to do. They're miserable. They're not successful. They don't do it well because they don't do what they want. And as much as it shocks me, I'll support you in your decision. And she's... And well, I think I did quite well, no? But the, 
But the thing is, Pero la cosa es often, que a menudo, if you give children space, si tú les das a los then they turn back to what they, you want them to do. Después, al final, But the most important thing is that you stop thinking you've failed. Because then he feels compelled to do something to make you happy. And that doesn't serve him. Yeah. So send him to do the six months. And I'll fix him. And then I send him back. Yeah, yeah. Then he'll go to finish and become a doctor or whatever you want. And you know, sometimes it's the best thing to find themselves. We have so many kids that take sabbaticals before university and do the six months. And then they're really clear what they want. And they do it well. Yeah, because it's a big step for some people. Especially intelligent people, no? They start questioning things. Que empiezan a cuestionar las cosas. Mm.